Ladies and gentlemen, do you remember we are trying to understand ETFs, index funds, and we are doing that here on the, on the sporting um, uh, arena in Viticon, where I grew up. We do it by selecting a couple of kids, 100 kids maybe, and let them run on the tracks, 100 meters. The single kids are single stocks, and the average time they run over 100 meters is the single return of that stock. Now we can better understand how an index fund actually works. Now selecting the tallest kids to make a reference group, let's call it the big kid index, is not really the smartest way to select a group of kids in order to find the kids that run the fastest. And the same is actually true for stock index funds. Selecting the biggest stocks is not really a smart way to get the best return out of the stock market. So the assumption that the index holds the best stocks is actually pretty wrong. Because who would actually weigh an expensive stock that is big more than a cheaper stock? But that's exactly what stock index is too. And that's an important thing to remember. When you select a stock index, it doesn't mean that the best stocks are in there. And above all, they are not weighted correctly. It's actually weighted against your interest. Expensive stocks are weighted higher than cheap stocks. So this is something you should remember the next time when you make an ETF index investment. Because selecting the good stocks is something that only you can do and not the index fund provider. I wish you good luck with your own investing.